your worship we're live okay i'd like to call this meeting to order please a special meeting of the county of brant council hybrid meeting of june the 7th 2022 first thing on the agenda is to approve the attendance uh, could you please answer if you're with us please councillor week councillor mcalpine present councillor the farrier here councillor house present councillor bell i believe is absent councillor pierce i'm here councillor chambers he's not he's present absent. your worship thank you councillor miller yeah, present councillor coleman here and Councillor Gatward. Present. Thank you, attendance has been taken. The second thing on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Does anyone have any additions to the agenda? Seeing none, I have one item to add just before we adjourn, please. Uh, seeing not, no others, uh, approval of the agenda, please. Moved by myself, second by yeah. Councillor Chambers at the agenda for the special meeting of the county brand council for June 7th, 2022 be approved. Thank you. Noting that Councillor Chambers is now with us. Third thing is a declaration of pecuniary interest. Does anyone have any? Seeing none, we'll move on to number four, staff reports. Fire hall, bunker gear, storage rooms and Burford and Mount Pleasant stations. Who's going to speak to that, Sean? Your Worship, it's, uh, it's Michael, and I can re I'm can. i speaking to all three of the reports tonight. They're all fairly straightforward. Uh, this is, okay. this is again, a fairly straightforward uh, a report. It's a project that Council approved a few years ago, and its design is to uh, to ensure that our, our facilities are uh, are safe for our, our fire uh, fire services staff uh, from the uh, carcinogens and other materials that, that, that are, you know, kind of part of, of the business that they do, so. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions on the report if there are. Thank you. I guess I guess we should get down the floor first. Councillor Ferry, you have this. Thank you. Moved by myself and seconded by Councillor Pierce. Uh, RPT-193-22, Fire Hall Bunker, Gear Storage Rooms, Burford and Mount Pleasant Stations, um, moved as written. Thank you. Well, are there any comments or concerns, conversation? Seeing none, we'll call the vote, please. All those in favor? Is there anyone opposed? Okay. Was it unanimous? It was. Thank you. Moving on to 4.2, uh, the selection of the architectural services for the Bucket Center building. Councillor House. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Moved by myself and seconded by Councillor Weeks that RPT 194-22, consultant selections for RFP 2022-15 for architectural services for the Bucket Center building uh, be approved as written. All right, are there, thank you for putting it on the floor. Are there any comments or concerns or conversation? Councillor Miller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, yeah, I've heard of a couple of the consult uh, architectural firms on the list. I have not heard of these guys, so I did look them up. Um, can you tell me that somebody uh, did some research into the, the fact that they have worked with historical buildings in the past? Yeah, absolutely. Mr. Bradley, please. Thank you, Your Worship. And, and I can say that we went through a very comprehensive process uh, with this election. Um, there was very uh, substantive uh, submissions that were made. Uh, through the RFP process, we did a we did at the staff level we did a, a, a interview with the shortlisted firms, and then we actually brought the two top shortlisted firms together with the advisor the, the advisory group uh, or working group I guess we're calling, which is comprised of the Bucket Center committee and the uh, library board. Um, all the firms that we shortlisted had significant background in, in, in working with historic buildings. They all had background with uh, with with library projects, so we would be fully confident. Um, that, that these, these, any of these firms that we saw, but specifically this firm that we are recommending would have a significant depth. Uh, this, this firm, as well as most of the others, uh, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're the lead firms, but they have partners, partner firms, and the partner firm that they were bringing forward to the table is, is that's their specialty, is, is historic buildings. And they, I can't remember, uh, Kelly might remember those, but the specifics, they cited a number of, 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 of projects, well-known projects that, that, that would jump out at you, so. So we would have no concern with the depth of this firm in terms of their uh, background with heritage structures. OK. 
Okay, I appreciate the answer. I, I think we all understand why that's important. And uh, it's good to see that uh, they're fairly local. They're, they're based out of Hamilton. So fingers crossed they do a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor LaFerrier, you're next, please. Thank, Thank you, you uh, Your Worship. worship. Uh, yeah, I yeah, just, just wanted to also add to that, that of uh, the two, two groups that make up the working group, five, five members of this council are on those groups, and I believe all five members are likely to be very supportive of the application. Um, so there was a lot of fine-tooth combing from a, a substantial number of members of council as well. So it, this isn't something that went just to the public or just to staff, um, but also to members of council who are here supporting it today. Thank you. But does anyone else want to speak to this before we call the vote? Seeing no hands, we'll call the vote. All those in favor? Opposed? None? It's unanimous. Thank you. And number four, number three, I'm sorry, is a request for permission for the um, lawn bowling um, club of Paris for the rebuild. Um, Mr. McAlpine, you're going to bring it to the floor? Yeah. Moved by myself and seconded by Councillor Pierce that Council approve the exemption to purchasing bylaw 4513 to permit John McDonald Architects Incorporated to bid on CPS RFP 2203 preparation and design tendering documents phase one, bidding construction oversight and post construction review phase two for the Paris Lawn Bowling Club. Thank you. Are there any questions? Any, I don't see any hands up. Councilor Gatward has a hand up. Oh, thank you. Councilor Gatward, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, through you to the CAO, um, when I read this, they talked about a business plan, and um, I was wondering, I don't recall seeing that. Maybe it came forward, but I'm wondering if, if we've seen that. And I can't remember, I should have looked it up. How much was in the budget for this project? Michael? Uh, through, through you, Mr. Ch uh, through your worship. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure when the business plan came forward, but I, I do re recall it coming forward on the, on the project. And what the business plan suggested, it had some, some it had gone and did some, uh, stakeholder consultation and, and review of options and it had recommended that we proceed and, and replace the, uh, the existing clubhouse with a, with a new facility. Um, I'm not sure what the, the budget for this, because this, this report isn't really uh, speaking to the, uh, to the project itself. That will be a future report. This is strictly asking for the firm in question, uh, allowing them to bid on the, on the soon to be closed RFP. So um, th what I would suggest is when the, when the recommendation comes forward, Regardless of whether you approve this this report tonight or not, you will be getting a recommendation with a preferred firm, and we can certainly include in that report some some background on the on the, the lawn bowling club report. So, thank you. Are there any other questions on four point three? I'm not able to see counts. There we go. Thank you. No one has their hand up. No other comments. We'll call the vote. All those in favor. Opposed and carried, which takes us to the end of our special meeting. The only thing I wanted to say is that there are many requests for the children playing signs, and we weren't sure, or I wasn't sure, because it's an election year, whether the councillors wanted to pick up and distribute the signs themselves or whether they just want uh, staff to dole them out as requested. So that's something that each councillor can decide on your own and just let the staff at the front desk know whether you want to pick up signs for your ward or whether you want them to just have them um, come and pick them up themselves. I just thought you might want to do it yourself. That's all I had to say. Uh, any other business before we call this to, um, who's that, Councillor Chambers? Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, the other night I, I received a, a very interesting email that I forwarded to Alicia uh, regarding a, uh, a security course that we are all obliged to take. I'm just wondering if, if research was done into that, if that's legit. The reason I bring it up now is maybe someone else got the same letters and we should be aware of what's going on. Yeah, thank, thank you, Council Chambers. I received two yesterday and one today. I didn't open them or respond to them. I sent them off, forwarded them to Alicia. So 
I didn't feel comfortable opening them, so that's probably the same one you got. Uh, I haven't heard back from the clerk. Maybe she can let us know whether they uh, were were frauds or whether we should have opened them. Uh, through, you, through you, Mr. R or, uh, Mr. Chairman, I did uh, hear back from the director of IT this afternoon who advised that they are legitimate um, cyber training that uh, they are requesting staff take. Thank you. There's your answer, Councillor Chambers. Okay, sorry, I, I, could you repeat that again? I it is a legitimate training email from the IT department, yes. So we can open the links and... Absolutely, you, you're actually requested by IT to open the links and to conduct the training. J just a suggestion, if we get emails like that again, it would be nice if there was a, 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 a person at the end of the email that takes responsibility for the email because it was just blank and I didn't even know who to call, so. Thank you. Now I'll go back and open mine too. If there's nothing else for the betterment of this uh, meeting, this gathering, uh, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. Councillor Leferrier, thank you.